Hello there, welcome back. Sarah here, and today we are talking about my first book recommendation. Today we're going to talk about the book called Brazilian Sexy. It's by the author Renee Padulia. She is one of the founding sisters of the J Sisters Salon in New York City, and she is said to be the founder and developer of the infamous Brazilian Wax. So yes, I will just from the get-go say I do think this book, well no, I don't think this book is more targeted towards women. Which normally I would say, so whatever, if you want to read the book, read the book, and you can. She just happens to touch on some things that do have to do with the anatomy of being a natural born woman, so be that what it may be. Moving forward, I think this is the perfect book for a beach read, a lake read, some kind of read where you just need basically a book you can plow through in a couple hours or just digest a little bit at a time. I do indeed have a page full of notes here, so we'll just go through these. This is definitely a light-hearted book. This is why I wanted to get this in while we're in the middle of summer still. I think it is a great summer read. It's the kind of book where you want to read something that is amusing. Like I said, it's light-hearted, but you also want to have a couple takeaways from it. You want something that will help you grow a little bit. You're not reading for 100% pure enjoyment. You do want something that will, you by the time you finish, you think, okay, that was worth my time. Let me just throw this out there. I would go ahead and call this an 18 years plus book. Um, it's pretty PG, PG-13, up until the last couple chapters where it gets a little more graphic. Her style of writing is kind of interesting. There are certain times where I think, okay, this was someone who was either not a natural born English speaker or it was translated a little bit. And I like that it kind of, it definitely adds her own personality into the book. Just a really relatable and easy read. It's a kind of read where you kind of feel like you're talking to maybe you be a big sister, your best friend, or an aunt, or your mom. You kind of read this taking away lessons from someone who's had a little more life experience than the average 20, 18, 24 year old. And with that also being said, I wouldn't say this is only for that 20 year old range. I would say this is for any age range for the adult woman. There are takeaways that you can either learn for your future or you can either kind of ref reflect it on where you may presently be if you're a little bit older. And I'm gonna read this little next section off my notes because I like the way I wrote it down, but I would say any takeaways are that the life lessons in it are really easily digestible. The messages are a lot of messages of self-love, of focusing on really being enough in and of yourself, which I think is really important, especially in this day and age where social media reigns. It's completely chock full of anecdotes from her own life or from her friends' lives or from her client's life. So that's kind of fun because you go, you dive into little memoirs and stories throughout the entire book. And a lot of it just kind of helps develop a perspective for when you're going through issues and problems in life. So there are definitely a couple lessons that I think I will potentially apply to my life. And there are some things that I thought, okay, it's cool to read, but I don't know if it's gonna be applicable, such as like different beauty tips. I haven't tested any of them, frankly, but who's to say they're not great? There's even a recipe in here that I also have not tested, but it could be good. In fact, if you test it out, let me know in the comments below if it worked out or not for you. I would say any issues I have with this, and there's really only one I can think of, is coming from the feminist side of myself, the way she generalizes men, not verses, but men and women, for example, saying that men don't ever know how to dress themselves, I think that's a pretty broad generalization that I don't exactly agree with. I don't think we were born as women with genes for knowing style. I think that's learned among either gender, but I'm not gonna dive any deeper into that. That really is my only issue. And if you're not the kind of person who's gonna be offended by generalizations like that, um, then it's no problem at all, it's a non-issue. <laughs> as far as personal experience goes, because I have actually lived in Brazil, I can't exactly say that I've experienced Brazil in the same way that she has, although she's from the Rio de Janeiro area and I've only spent a limited amount of time there. But I mean, she paints a great picture of Brazil and there's a great pain picture to paint. Brazil's an amazing country. Um, but my experience is definitely a little bit different with the women here. Um, not in a negative way, just in a different kind of way. And I mean, as a final wrap up, I think this is the kind of book that you'll be glad to read, but you won't feel the need to hold on to. You'll be glad to pass it to a girlfriend. So it's not gonna be weighing on your bookshelf for the rest of the year. So those are my thoughts on the book, Brazilian Sexy. The official title here is Brazilian Sexy, Secrets to Living a Gorgeous and Confident Life. And I will say, I agree with that. I think she has some good life tips in here. If you have any other book recommendations you think I should read, right now I'm in the middle of a couple, I'm in the middle of a classic, Think and Grow Rich, which I've been loving. Talk about a life changer. And so if you like this kind of book recommendation slash review videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I do offer um, a kind of well-rounded amount of content on my channel. It's gonna be a lot focused on this well-being and life 
some vlogs, some travel, you know. But if you vibe with that, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up because that honestly helps. Um, and just thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.